Okay, does anyone remember some time back we get a we did a um, a bit of a look at the um, JIL SX400, but um, today's more about the um, converter, um, the uh, RF1030, so uh, low frequency, medium frequency HF converter. Now I'm using uh, John VK1JP as a uh, example, and um, uh, interesting. Uh, <laughs> Marley was just on and uh, people coming back everywhere and uh, it just slowed down a little bit when John came on which is a bit like when I come on here compared to Riley um, people want to want to work the young people <laughs> but, uh, okay so let's have a look we're using the uh, the JIL SX400 as the interface at the moment uh, which is the, the correct interface, by the way. There's no other uh, radio that you can put with this. <laughs> As you can see, they do match. But um, if you wonder, remember we had a bit of an overload issue in a video some months back. And um, uh, look, it was a matter of uh, nothing wrong in this box here. I needed to turn the gain down on this one a little bit. Um, it was just overloading the receiver, and that's what was actually happening. So um, at some stage, maybe we can do a video just on that process. I... Um, kind of one of those ones where I did the job and put it back together and then thought gee would have been a good idea to show people just how to do that but I'm sure we can do that at some stage but that is really just uh, working well just uh, and of course the volumes down on this one this box takes over completely for the uh, scanner basically they use the 10.7 meg IF really stable now <clears throat> excuse me um, the other thing too when you're inside one of these um, just make sure the connectors are plugged in correctly as well even though I had to adjust the um, uh, the uh, receive the IF input um, to this here um, the 10.7 was just sort of over overwhelming it a bit um, I did find that um, uh, yeah it's probably time to spray the connectors etc and just make sure that you know they're hundred percent but so we've got noise blanker, upper side band, AM, auto. What does auto choose? Auto chooses absolutely nothing. No idea. There must be a way to get that uh, to um, understand. Uh, there may, may be some interfacing there for that. Uh, but as you can hear, uh, now, and bear in mind, if you remember from the last video, this is act the actual frequency. So we were listening to Marley before on 7135. Now we're listening to uh, John on 7135 under the same call sign. So if I go up 5kc, as you can tell, I'm in 5kc steps at the moment, so I could certainly change that to 1kc steps, which would be better. Um, but just for the sake of just being able to show you what's happening on the band, it's pretty busy on the band. This Delta tune, which is just a little BFO type, well, it's more of a VFO. RIT. <laughs> Quite a few operators on there. So, once again, so now we're on 7.105. So you get a bit of an idea how they do that. And we'll go back up to John. Hey, John, if you want the, the contacts to... Um, to really go crazy again, put Marley back on. <laughs> I'm joking. Look, I'll tell you what, though. Fantastic operation by Marley. Really was. Anyway, so that's just a bit of a follow-up on... Um, we always said we were going to get back into this. And um, because we were selling one of these, um, I wanted to sort of have a look and just say, right, okay, you know, have we have we, you know, got a fair idea what's going on? And, um, and what I did, I actually adjusted both up. I took the covers off both units, set it up with this, just so that we can actually make sure that they... Well... Sorry, that's not entirely true. Took the covers off the one that we had to do, um, and um, which was my original one. And uh, the other one, actually, uh, whilst I took the covers off, I didn't need to actually do too much. All I did was spray the connectors. It was actually working quite okay with the, the Delta Tune interfacing beautifully. But, um, yeah, it looked pretty, pretty sensitive um, for, you know, for what they are. They do have an attenuator on board if things get a bit too much. Uh, but the fault that you'll find where it does overdrive, you won't be able to use your, the, the attenuator is not enough. It's, it's actually a matter of that 10.7 just needs a bit of um, touching up and re, uh, because we actually, 
well, two things. It was over, overwhelming the, uh, the receiver, but also, uh, and when I say the receiver, uh, this box here, but secondly, it was off frequency a bit too, so we, we needed to adjust that 10.7. So, um, but uh, yeah, all good. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, this is the RF 1030 RF converter. Um, uh, so the chapter just bought the uh, this one here, uh, also the other one we've got. Uh, yes, be on the lookout for these bits and pieces because, as you can see, they're great little bits to get if you can, um, if you can, uh, you know, sort of drag one out from somewhere. Uh, they do come up um, rare. Uh, if it wasn't for my mate uh, down in uh, VK down the bottom of VK3, I probably never would have found one. But uh, but I, I have se seen them overseas. <clears throat> Excuse me, become on offer. All right, 73s. That's the little RF converter that you can. You know, listen to anywhere. Oh, sorry, I should just, before I go, mention that, you know, you don't have to listen to ham radio. If you're a shortwave listener, um, you could easily say to yourself, well, okay, let's go up, 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 um, you know, and just keep going. Uh, in my case here, to save some time, let's let's go up a meg, and let's go 58 point, uh, I don't know, 200 should go, somewhere around there. And then we can sort of just scan up. Now, of course, now we're in the commercial bands listening to 8 megs. Uh, probably more likely to hear something on AM, so we've got a AM there and listen to that. And uh, let's have a look here. Just bring my arm around here. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, always the way, isn't it? Just when you you want to hear something, there's never anything on that you. Yeah, you can't just hold that build uh, that one on. Um, and unfortunately, when you go to scan, these are for the. So you've got to set in a limit um, uh, to do like a a scan from say if you want to go from eight point. Uh, 450 to say 12 megs you know you could just set that up as a, a program limit up and down but um, yeah, I thought uh, I don't know let's go 50 oh, what else 55 ah yes point so, so we're going to be so 5 point uh, 5.5 megs let's go so that's basically 5.5 megs there on AM um, trying to remember the frequency um, we were on them the other day the the 10 meg frequencies where uh, the time services and uh, weather conditions, sorry, Bureau of Meteorology. Where was that? Um, yeah, 10 point, 10 point something. Uh, so that would be 61. So if we were going to 10 meg, 61 uh, point. Uh, and let's go to about, I'm trying to think it was 240. I reckon it might have been. Now, I've got that wrong there um, uh, because I forgot to put a zero in. Um, so we haven't actually resolved the, the 10 now. Let me just have a quick play with this while I'm doing a blooper here. Okay, figured out my blooper. Yeah, sorry. And yeah, pretty much what I was saying before, but you're moving that decimal over now. So 10.350, etc. to uh, to do that. And it had some sort of strange, 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 strange. So now we're up on 10 megs. For some reason, I think I've got it wrong volume because I'll remember you're using this volume down here when you're doing this. Uh, no, I reckon it was 12 megs. The more I'm thinking about this, so we're going to go 61 to get us into the 10 meg region, 0.2 for the 12 meg, um, and then uh, 24 just to get us somewhere up that way. It's going to 225 at the moment. Uh, so 12, 12, 250. So remember the decimal place. And I'm just having a little listen around here. Yeah, I'll have to look up what that frequency was. Let me actually, I can do that. Hang on. I lied before. You can actually touch this and let it go back. So we're on 11 megs there. We actually want to go up. Now let's try that again. And I think it's because I'm not squelching it. So if I squelch it, oh, sorry, wrong squelch. You've got to use the squelch over here. So if I do that, Oh, yeah, yep, sorry. So you don't have to set program limits. Um, I'm just going to let that go until it hits about 12. Oh, I've gone too far. Oh, I've gone too far. Didn't want to go that far, actually. I want 12.365, don't I? So one, I've gone, yeah, too far. So let's have a quick look here and see if we can hear the, the services on uh, 60. Oh, geez. It's, oh, it's still thinking it's scanning at the moment. Hang on. Uh, so if I go to squelch here and see if it wants to, has that stopped? Yes, it has. Okay. So now I should be able to cancel, cancel, cancel. Hang on. All right. Oh, how you hold your mouth. Um, so we want to go to, uh, 
one, two, three, six, five, which might not go exactly there. We'll see. Ah, but I forgot my decimal place, so it's going to fault. Yep, right, and it will do that. Sixty-one point. Right, okay, so then we go from there. Uh, two, three, six, five. Enter. Okay, no, we haven't got any um, broadcast coming through at the moment, which um, that would have been nice. Uh, I think they're upper side band, well, the, the broadcast we normally hear. Uh, but they only come up, I think, every 20 minutes or so, or on the hour. Uh, so I might be missing that at the moment. There was one a little bit lower, oh, but it won't be playing because they only play at the same time. All right. Anyway, you get the idea. Don't mind me. I'm, um, I'm sort of just trying to remember myself completely uh, how to do this. Uh, and you can sort of make mistakes for getting this fella here at times. Um, so don't um, don't be put off. Uh, and I do it all the time. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So yeah. So that's twelve three fifty. We don't actually want to be on twelve three fifty. Excuse me. Ah. <coughs> uh, oh, okay. I've got to change my step rate. And just so you know, in these things, you have these here where you can change all your step rates. So I won't go into that right now. But yes, you do need to come in here. The other thing too. Hint for new players. I know this is getting off the subject this a little bit. The JLS SX four hundred. If you get a, a situation where you come up and the display is just giving you a couple of dots, have a look in here, reset, resets it back to um, uh, 26 megs. You, and you will find if it sits around for a while, that can happen very, very easily. So remember to reset your unit and then you can go back and go, well, let's go back to um, ham radio uh, because we were probably getting a bit more there at the moment. So we're going to go back to uh, 57, meaning 7 megs, point. Uh, where were those guys? One, three, five, enter. And we're going to go back to sideband on this box here. And slow it, yep. And there we go. And that's the future of amateur radio speaking there. Young people, good to see. Well done. All right, so there you go. That's the um, uh, RF converter for the... Um, uh, we call this a scanning receiver. But obviously, with this box, it becomes a shortwave receiver. So, you know, um, people may say, oh, why would you list at the shortwave listening sites? You know, what would people care? Well, yeah, they will. Um, it, it's it's actually a really good um, option to take your, what you think is a 26 to 512 meg unit. Uh, 26 to 512? Maybe to one gig? I can't remember now. 512? 512? Oh, geez. Just don't worry about me. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to have a quick try or something five one two enter i definitely used to 512 but i don't think it's a nine nine yeah no 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 i, I might have gone i might have gone a bit higher than 512 um I'm, I'm really just guessing here no okay so maybe not much higher maybe 520 yeah okay that's well you know if i try and go over 520 26 fair enough so 520 it's all right so Today's demonstration of this is really to use this here. That we're using this as an IF tool. That's all it is, and it, and it gives us the uh, variation frequency to chuck into this fella here. So um, yeah, no, all good. All right. Well, <clears throat> this has been fun, and uh, it's been really good just having a listen to um, Marley having a play with having a play, doing a better job than most of us actually. Um, I don't know if that's actually a good definition. Having a play with amateur radio, doing a great job. And, and being heard on, you know, such a simple, simple unit. Get, you get a bit of cross-channel here, just, just a little bit. Um, oh, sorry, what we were hearing before, I had the volume up on the AM side here. Uh, this will make no difference um, down on this one here, by the way. Your mode switch here takes over. Amazing. All right. 73s. Good to do an update with uh, with the 
RF1030 really, you know, the last video was it was really being, you know, knocked out big time by too much signal. So this time, really good. 73 is all the best. Cheers.